So there's been a lot of talk about Lightning, you know, the Lightning port and the USB-C port that is pretty much not only on a lot of Android products, but also a lot of Apple products like iPads and MacBooks and probably some other things I'm, you know, kind of misremembering as well. And I want to kind of break down some of the features, pros and cons between both having a Lightning port and having USB-C. A lot of people, probably including myself, think USB-C is the you know 100% best one for sure. But there are some advantages with Lightning ports as well. And I will tell you when it comes down to it, I will be so happy if Apple switches over to USB-C completely. But like I said, there are some advantages for the Lightning port. Now, the first thing to remember is that USB-C is actually a little bit of a newer type of port than the Lightning port. So according to a lot of people, the Lightning port you know was kind of brought in in 2012 with the iPhone. 5 that was the main iPhone that kind of brought it you know within it with USB-C that actually was kind of introduced in 2014 so that is probably one thing to keep in mind if you're actually wanting to go through and have and kind of look at a port that may have been evolved a little bit faster you could start to say that the lightning port because it's a little bit older was actually a wire that kind of maybe set the standard in a way for a little bit of time before we ended up switching over to USB-C because you have to remember we also had micro USB which I was not a fan of at all and micro USB versus lightning I mean lightning is way better than micro USB but I would say and some would say that USB-C is a little bit better than you know lightning now the features between both are very similar but there's also a lot of differences as well because you have to remember with a lightning port you can do the exact same thing for the most part as a USB-C port you can kind of do the same thing between both you know if you want to go ahead and display uh, you know something outside of your monitor or outside of your iPhone to a monitor you can kind of do that with a lightning port you can even do it wirelessly you can you know charge your devices you can transfer data you can you know all sorts of things. However, with a USB-C port, you are getting a little bit more capability and Apple has showcased this with their iPad lineup. If you look at iPads that had a lightning port versus the iPads that had a Thunderbolt port with USB-C, I mean, there's big differences. You can have two simultaneously different windows on USB-C where with lightning, it's almost like you're just displaying the same thing, mostly because the data transfer speeds are just so much faster on USB-C. So because of that, you are able to go ahead and utilize a lot more, I guess, throughput with a, with a USB-C port, thus making that USB-C port way more functional. Now, if you want to connect third-party devices and docks and dongles and all those types of things, you can go ahead and do that with the lightning as well, but you are just getting a fast experience and you're getting more features built in with USB-C. Like I mentioned, with that higher transfer speed, you can go ahead and you know use different monitors within USB-C, which is so awesome. Now, another thing we have to throw in here, honestly, it's not all like, you know, sunshine and rainbows with USB-C. The one issue that I kind of would have with USB-C kind of is the, you know, and it's kind of Apple's fault for the most part, is the amount of different wires you're going to have to use because Lightning is Apple's, you know, own proprietary, you know, wire. You will sometimes see that some devices will use USB-C, some will use Lightning, and that's kind of annoying, and that's kind of just how the market is. But one thing I liked about Lightning, you know, is for one, you can get a lot of these wires at a very cheap price tag. So all these wires, you know, you can get not necessarily from their main manufacturers. You know, there's not one specific, you know, official USB-C cord. I mean, you can get them anywhere. Lightning, there is the Apple certified ones. Amazon makes them and oh, so many other places do too. But really for the Apple one, it's pretty much just, you know, Apple's own wire. So they own it completely. But also for a lot of Apple products right now, they are also still stuck at Lightning. So if if you're engrossed in the Apple ecosystem, you will see that you're using a Lightning probably more so than USB-C. But the other crazy thing is, is that you're probably already using USB-C on some of your products as well. If you own one of the current MacBooks, you charge it via USB-C. And even if you charge it via MagSafe on the newer MacBooks, like the Pro models, well, the end tip of that specific MagSafe cord is a USB-C cable too, so you're kind of still using it. Another thing that I did kind of like about Lightning was also the fact that there's no like middle part of the USB-C you know, port. I haven't really found there's no middle part of a lightning port. I feel like the lightning port kind of looks better than the USB-C port because you don't have that line in the middle of it, like that little connector port. But I think that's totally fine. I haven't really found too many people breaking their, you know, Android ports more than the iPhone ports. You know, if they have a Samsung or a Google Pixel or OnePlus that has USB-C, I haven't found them to be that much higher in terms of breakage, at least from the data that I've seen on my second channel, from all the videos that I've done from, you know, charging ports not working. I've done them on pretty much every single device and it doesn't really seem like there's one device that has way more than the other one of course that's a small you know sample set but from what i've seen that doesn't really seem to be the case 
And in my personal use, I haven't really found any of my USB-C ports or any of my lightning ports to be broken yet. So I don't think there's, you know, one that's way worse than the other one or whatever. But outside of the Apple ecosystem, this is the biggest thing. You are going to find USB-C everywhere. Whether you have a Windows PC, whether you have a MacBook, even a MacBook in the Apple ecosystem, whether you have, you know, a Google Palm device that is one of the newer ones, maybe it has USB-C as well. You have a all the gaming consoles for the most part now use USB-C, including the PlayStation 5 that has a USB-C port on the front. All the desktop PCs, every single device you're going to buy for the most part has USB-C, probably including cars. Cars nowadays probably have USB-C built in as well. That is the new standard. And I would probably say in the next five to 10 years, everything will be USB-C and you'll only have to buy one port or one cord for everything and you can charge all your devices. Now there's a chance iPhones may go portless, but I, I don't even know. If you're an iPhone user, then that's you know great. If not, then I think USB-C 100% is the best way to go. It gives you so much more features. It gives you way more capability. And personally, if every single device comes with a USB-C port, that would help streamline a lot of different things in people's lives. I've been going on right for the last few weeks or whatever. I went on like a two plane rides or plane, plane whatever flights or whatever. And when I'm in the flight, right, I'm like, oh, I have to plug in my, you know, iPhone to the charger or whatever, right? I hate having to go ahead and bring two different things for my specific MacBook and for my iPhone. If I could have the capability and even for my Android phone, it's so beautiful just being able to plug in my Android, you know, my Samsung that I'm carrying with me and my MacBook with the same cord. All I have to do is unplug it and plug it in. And that's all I have to do with my iPhone. I have to kind of like grab another wire and plug it in. And it's just so annoying Then I have like two different wires hanging around and I don't really want to deal with that. Another big thing that I notice is dongles. But, you know, on the same like trip, I had to go ahead and get another lightning cord adapter thing for the, you know, output of my iPhone because I wanted to record footage and video outside of my specific, you know, MacBook, specifically for my microphone. So I wanted to use an external microphone and I had to go ahead and buy another dongle, even though I had a USB-C dongle with me. With my MacBook, I use a lot of USB-A devices and that was another annoying thing. So it even goes beyond than just having a lightning cord. It's like all the dongles and accessories that can be used on all these devices, you can't use them on all the devices. If you have a specific USB-C, you know, controller that you want to use, well, you're going to have to get a dongle for it specifically for your iPhone. And that is it. Even on Apple's iPads now, they have USB-C. So there really isn't a point for, you know, the iPhones that have USB-C. And I'm going to be very curious to see what happens in the future. But as of right now, there are some advantages for having Lightning. I think, you know, these cords are available everywhere. They're, they've they been the same on all the iPhones since 2012. Some iPads have it too, and they still have a lot of features built in. But USB-C, in my opinion, is the best way to go. It is 100% the one I would recommend picking up if you're going to go ahead and pick up a USB device that and, you know, go for USB-C. There's really not a reason why I would even consider Lightning being superior. USB-C is the best way to go. I think for the next year or two, I think it's going to be fine. But if Apple switches over to USB-C, I think that's going to be an amazing thing that they will do. So that kind of covers up how they both kind of compare. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.